What's up guys? This is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. Um, you know, just we did some filming today with our DJI Mavic Air. Now this is it folded up. Just for reference, you know, it's you know about the same size as my iPhone 6 out of a case. Small, compact, it's exactly what us as a hunting channel. You know, this is what we need. Uh, the footage we can provide to you guys from this thing, once we figure out how to fly it, it's limitless, like for fishing. I mean, we can't use it while hunting for obvious reasons, um, but we're going to be able to bring good footage. Now, this video today is actually our first attempt of filming some skeet shooting, and then we get into, you know, just flying it around, uh, just using the sport mode, Seeing how fast we can fly the sucker while still being, you know, stable footage, which blew me away, man. We had this thing in sport. We were hauling. And that footage is crisp, 4K. You know, it's not stuttering. Even when I just let go, so it would just rock, that gimbal kept it stabilized. Crisp footage. I mean, and out of, you know, something this big. For us, size is everything. You know, uh, we need something that we can pack in, pack out. That's it. So, check out the footage right after this, and uh, we'll hit you up after that. All right, so as you can tell here, I'm pretty twitchy with the joysticks. Uh, this is the first time actually attempting to fly and film something that we'd actually do. And it's pretty cool here. I was way late on panning out to get in the shot. But you can actually see the shotgun shell come out of the gun. Now I realize i got to kind of move back a little bit. And I will say this, you know, I'm not a drone pilot. I'm not used to drones. But this thing's really easy to fly. And this one, I actually pan out. You can see it hit right there. Blew it up. You can see it. It's pretty cool what you can do with this camera. Or this drone, sorry. Uh, and then, as you can tell, I'm pretty pumped about it. Run over to Hawk, tell him that I actually did get that. And just kind of pan around, show him what the camera's actually filming, the quality, which is pretty cool. And uh, let's see. So here we go for a third shot. Crisp. He misses it, but I mean, and like I said, this is my first real flight trying to get a little bit more stable with this uh, but as all in all I did pretty good I mean I'm still twitchy so we gotta get that fixed but check that out I mean look at that crisp picture he missed that pigeon as well but you know then I decided this is in sport mode that's hauling we wanted to see how stable that gimbal we were trying to rock it we were trying to make it you know test it to see if we could actually do anything to distort the picture quality and we couldn't like I was very impressed with that like that's you know for us being what we do I mean this thing is going to be absolutely awesome in our arsenal to what we can bring to you guys and that's everything to us and right now we're this is when we start tinkering and I was going to show them the asteroid uh, quick shot mode so we tried to we tried to get it so we could get you know Joe Zip there, my boy, to uh, throw a pigeon, have Hawk hit it, but we couldn't time it right. So we just ended up you know getting set up, just going for gold. Then I found out that I had to actually cut this video to get into Asteroid. I did not know that. I thought I could just streamlessly go into the Asteroid mode, but like I said, I don't know anything about drones, so 